Hey you folks, Quill18 here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play EU4! We are playing as Japan, but we're also the Emperor of China. So we're... Japan. Or... China. Well, that sounds not good. Um, let's, let's just go with Japan. We're gonna be fine that way. Also, good news everyone, we can rival someone else! We can rival Spain, and I don't see any reason not to. I mean, it's weird because they're almost literally on the opposite side of the Earth from us, right? If we're here and we go through... I mean, we'd probably end up somewhere in the Atlantic, really, but it's pretty damn close to Spain. So, yeah, someone on the opposite side of the world to us is now our rival. When we do get a diplomat again, we're going to go ahead and send it that way. We've been discovered, so this is going really slow. I'm going to cancel you. I'm going to free up all my diplomats. Um, so, yes, we've got this going on. Emperor of China, our mandate is increasing. Our decree are increasing as well. We've gone and done the population census so we can get more taxes, which is good because we've got a bunch of loans to pay off. Although, one of the things I'm going to do... So I think it's fine if I bring down my army maintenance to about the two-thirds mark over here. I think we're going to be good and satisfied with that. We did take a couple of provinces over from um, from China here, right over here with the Zivi culture and the Shandong culture over here. So we got a handful of things. We got a bunch of Manchu guys as well. But yeah, we got that. We are currently coring them. We do have some admin points. And, yeah, we are coring them, right? Yeah, we've got some admin points. We could still create a state over here. The Greater Monarchus could be a big money maker for us. But I'm currently going to sit on the admin, especially since we're going to try to go through our humanist ideas over here. Uh, what I can do at this point, you are in the galleon group, so I'm going to remove you. It's my explorer. We still have our little exploration navy over here, so I'm going to go and reapply you there, which means we can send you out to explore some more. Done. Uh, so waiting for a diplomat. I should be able to start annexing. Um, I should be able to start annexing this guy now that we're touching a colonial nation as soon as the well we're not at war, but we need a diplomat. So we're gonna do that. So our plan here, Ming still got a million tributaries, which is kind of annoying. Our plan will be to go ahead and try to tributize as much people as possible at this point. Because the only person I'm gonna be where is it? Establish tributary. 19 people are willing to do it right now, so we're gonna do that. The only person who we're really looking to go to war with is probably continuous war against Ming whenever we get a chance here. Um, because, like, we could, I was worried about it at first, oh, maybe we want to eat these guys, listen, I can still expand through my freaking colonization, um, we don't have any discounts to coring costs, so taking things with admin is a little bit meh, and if we're gonna do that, we're gonna do it versus the Ming, so that we weaken them, uh, there's not much sense in us eating these little guys over here, it doesn't help us that much, so really, every time we kind of hit our manpower cap, we're probably gonna go ahead and, um, look to see for an opportunity to go against the Ming. I would like to cancel this policy here, but I can't yet. I gotta wait four years before I can cancel it. The other two both give me global settler increase, so I'm gonna keep them around. Um, we really aren't making much military power. Luckily, we're way ahead of time right now. Um, it's not a tactics level next, so we can afford to wait a little bit more. I'm gonna go and switch my focus over to admin. Now, we actually get to switch our focus fairly often because we're now an empire. We're a celestial empire. Giving us some interesting little perks here and there. Um, but yeah, we've got the uh, the national focus cooldown. That's going to be really, really handy dandy. And in a moment, our power projection is gonna go above 50. We have to um, go ahead and insult Spain and, and embargo them, then uh, things will be a lot better. Although we're gonna lose some from the declared war on Ming and conquered provinces for Ming modifier is going to start dropping down. But overall, still pretty keen on that. We've only got two colonies on the go, but we've got a colonist heading out. We've actually got two colonists heading out places. Um, so I think temporarily we might hit five unless this colony finishes first, in which case we'll be at four. That's okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Navies, these are these are my transports. I don't think I'm going to mothball them. They're pretty cheap. Uh, you're exploring. We got the mothballed heavy. We might need to invest in more heavies for next war. You guys are moving over there. I think we can unpause here. Wait for our diplomats to come by. Okay, okay. First thing I'm going to do actually is I'm going to go ahead and embargo Spain. Bam. Brings us to 50. Uh, also, we got a permanent CB against Ming. We have claims on like all of China now. Uh, we got the Humiliate CB against Spain, Mongolia, uh, are at war with Russia, they want access, yeah, sure, whatever, it's fine, man. Um, I don't think that's gonna matter. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna say mean things about Spain in a moment, but now we got another diplomat, I'm gonna go and start annexing you, because let me just check here, yeah, I still don't border, um, these guys, so I can't annex them, so we're gonna have to do, it'd be nice to do them together, 
and get them to sync up at the same time, but that's okay. So we're going to do that. It'll eat a little bit of our Diplo power, which is fine, because we're still way ahead on Diplo here. Uh, we'll probably end up putting some more points into Mercantilism. In fact, I'm so sure that we're going to, I'm going to sink another point into it right now, so that we get the benefit from it a little bit sooner. Okay. Now, we do have to be a little bit careful. If our mandate drops below 50, then we start to get some pretty brutal penalties, so we really want to avoid that. But right now, our mandate is climbing, and does climb with the amount of tributaries that we've got. So we'll be doing as many of those as we can. So we're waiting for those ships to repair. Oh! 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 I'm going to go, I'm going to take down this fort because it's only in the grassland. I'm going to take it down. Um, it is in a great position strategically. I mean, it did great things for Ming and it would do decent things for us to sort of block their flow. But we don't want to be in a position where we're forcing battles there. It could buy us time, but I'm going to get rid of it completely. I'm going to keep all our mountain forts. But at this point, especially with the truce on, I feel... What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go and mothball all the forts. Because, yeah, I feel very safe that we don't have to worry about them being up. We have a looming disaster. Empire of China in name. Oh, crap. We have to have at least two accepted cultures in the Chinese culture group. Otherwise, we're going to get a disaster. So, in a hundred months, we're going to have a disaster trigger. Okay, well, I mean, we have, yeah, I mean, we have eight years to deal with this. So, this area, these three provinces look like they're all part of the same state. It's probably including this and this, so five provinces in total. But these three provinces are all one state. So, if I go and make this area into a state, M Manchu, right, I was looking, I Shandong... And Zili. I can embrace Manchu culture now. Is Man is in the Evenki group. Kamchaka, Southern African, Malay, Malay. Okay, I have to state this, and then I will be able to I'll have the option of embracing Zili and Shandong. It doesn't tell me the culture group here, but well let's see what happens when they finish coring normally, then they will show up here as a zero percent group. But they should show up in this list, and then I can mouse over and find the Chinese. Otherwise, I can look at the, um, I can just check the wiki as well and see what things are there. But I'm willing to bet that'll do. Uh, I only have room for one more promoted culture. I could, like, cancel Filipino, but I've spent 100 Diplo for that. It cost me 10, give us unrest. Um, we are, in humanist, we are here... So I need, I need 1,200 admin power to get to cultural ties to give you more promoted cultures. We can do that. We can do that before the disaster hits, I think. I wonder if it slows down once we bring in the first group or if it's still going to go up at one per. Probably still will go up at one per month. Okay, I think we're going to be all right, as terrifying as it is. Uh, Diplomat became available. I probably can't bug Spain yet, because I just sent a thing. So we're going to send you to establish a tributary. And, I mean, I think we're just going to grab everyone. It would be nice. Originally, I was just looking at ones that might be big enough to, um, to give us some sort of, like, useful tribute. But yeah, we'll go through the list. After we've gone and send all the tributaries, we're going to go through the list in bulk to set them to, well, probably admin. They default to money, which is fine, but we'll probably set them to admin. Let's go and split off some of this artillery. You are all artillery. Let's move some of you over there. Um, and we've got some manpower. I'm going to go and make some infantry, although we got to save some money too. But we need, I mean, we're going to need a token amount of infantry to, like, make these things useful here. What if we get the rebellion? We don't have any uprisings yet, which is good. New World Missions just ran out. Oh, these names have changed, probably because we're in a different government types. I mean, merchant guilds are still merchant guilds. The Bushi are now King Wangs. Okay. Um, and were they already called Shizu? Might be based on the religion. I don't remember, but that's the clergy. Uh, we need New World Missions. Oh, we can support... Oh, no, sorry. Demanded Min. We definitely need that. We'll do this. Oh, right. It hadn't all refreshed, but it's okay. Um... 
I'm not going to get this above 70. Although, so if I do this, they'll drop to 30. So clearly I need to do seek support of clergy to make them not become disloyal. That brings up 60, which makes no difference. So either way, I'm going to get 100 admin, but we definitely want to do that. Um, military power. Yeah, we're making very little right now. Um, I could call a D, it brings them to 75. It's a little bit dangerous. I think that if I do this, then we're going to lose our manpower recovery speed bonus, which hurts since we don't have any right now. But I think because we're making so little military power, I think we actually do want to hit this button. So I'm going to do that. And I don't want to hit this because it's going to bring their influence too dangerous. Merchant guilds, ooh, diplomatic support. Uh, it's only 50. There you go, Monopoly Charters. Oh yeah, it's still not there. I wonder if your New World Charter is about to run out. Mm. No. Oh, what about... Okay, I just hit that. I'll wait. You know what? We're we're way ahead of time on Diplo Power, so I'm not going to bother with you right now. We do have enough for the next idea group. We may as well take it. Because we're not doing anything else with Admin right now. We got our base core. Ah, when we state this, we may want to like make them into official state cores. Not that it really matters that much. We're stating this just because we need the culture groups. Yeah, let me let me save the admin for now cuz we don't need eucumenism that fast. It's going to be fine. Okay. Uh, I can make states. Yes, I've got a free diplomat. Right. Oh. Um I was going to just establish more tributaries. Sure, Apache. Fine. I mean, again, some of these guys we might want to attack, but it's not, it's really not the end of the world. Because we'll probably save our efforts for the Ming. We can always break things off later on. Send you. Uh, Jamexico is going to war with Tarascon. Okay. Terraform naval supplies. So, Jalaska, what's your current tariff rate? Jalaska is currently, this is tariffs, 12%. Oh, yeah, we can go ahead and raise that a little bit more. That's going to be fine. We lost the force tributary state CB. That's okay. We're still good now. We have another diplomat. Can I go and embargo Spain yet? Yes, I can. Oh, I've already done that. I want to insult. Boop. Excellent. 55. Keep that up there. Get the extra points. We can tech. Uh, I'm not going to take the admin tech. That's going to be okay. You know what? We're going to have enough admin to set up those cores. I can go ahead and take... Because it's going to take a little while before the base core is set up. I'm going to hit this button now. Why not? Okay. Unruly Samurai. Gain unrest, but gain army tradition. How long does this last? Ten years. I mean, I have really low national unrest right now. And I'm not going to be doing much to shake things up, but that might be a little tough. I like, I do want to increase my army tradition at this point, though. You know what? I think it's worth doing. Ugh. A little sketchy. But right now, we're still very, very, very stable. And hell, this idea actually helped our stability a fair bit, too, so that's good. The tolerance of the true faith. Okay, we've got a diplomat coming home. Establish tributary. Haida. Go. History of the Ming Empire. I can't spend money right now because I need to repay some loans. So we'll just gain the five mandate. That's going to be fine. Ooh, things are laggy. Is it that screen? I bet you it's the um, the Diplo screen recalculating. Uh, no, it still feels a little laggy. I don't know why. My computer's not doing anything in the background. The only thing that's running is EU and the recording software. Nothing's accessing my hard drive. I, wonder, I don't know why the game's like that. Okay, we had to up renew, which gives us more inflation. Uh, speaking of inflation, are we at two? No, not yet. Master Mint might not be bad, but we don't have one yet. Um, we may want to go... You know what? I'm going to hire the level three military advisor. I do have to repay the loans, but I think it's going to be worth doing this. We can rebuild the army a little bit faster and get more military power, which is good. Colony just became self-sustaining. Now, that was not one of the colonies that had a, um, a colonist. I'm going to move you here preemptively. So, meritocracy is low, but going up. So, right now, we have increased advisor cost and bad foreign spy detection. That's all right. 
conversion diplomat is back home we're going to send you out there and we're going to diplomize another tributary and we have another one chinook now most of these are so small they're only going to give us money but they do give us more um not meritocracy but the other one mandate Hope you're strong enough with 2k with lowered maintenance. You know what I'm going to do? No provinces available to build in, but what about right here? You clearly do. There you go. I'm going to record and get another infantry, so you're a stack of three. I'll feel just a little bit better at two-thirds maintenance. Meanwhile, do we want to recruit a few more dudes over here? There, let's get five there. You're okay. But yeah, all these stacks where we don't even have enough to, like make it an infantry model on the board is dumb. Exploration is finished. Let's go and do a little bit more. We're still above 50 over here, which is great. Diplomats are coming home. Um, oh, no, we are going to cancel the influencing because it wasn't actually required anymore. Yeah, the, the bonus from the influence is going to go away, but that's not a big deal. A little bit of wars going over here. D uh, colonists just arrived there, which I'm fine and happy with. Still trying to push through to the other side. The fall of Ming. Okay. Ming has fallen, and the Ashikaga dynasty is now believed to be the new holders of the Mandate of Heaven. That's us! That's us! We are expected to pick up the mantle of Emperor and bring the Chinese people into a new era of prosperity and stability. If we want to win over the remaining supporters of Ming rule, we must start to build our own imperial bureaucracy and invest in a strong and durable state. On the other hand, uh, is that me? That's me. Um, worries that disloyal officials will remain within any organization we inherit from its predecessor. So we must be merciful if we are to build something lasting. So, I could... Spend a bunch of power and money to gain meritocracy and mandate by keeping the old people around. I could purge the remaining loyalty lists, get a boost to admin. I like that. Or the imperial coffers need to be filled first. Lose mandate, lose a shit ton of stability, which is not good. Gain tons of money. But no, we're going to take the purge for the admin. I like the, uh, the, the decisions, though. There's cool stuff. Okay, we're going to... Oops. Establish tributary. Establish tributary. Nice to automate that, but I, I totally get why you wouldn't want it. So you're all down. Our money is not huge, although now that our ships are finally doing the trade thing, it's going to be a little bit better. We got a little bit of corruption because of our extension. Lots of interest. Lots of interest. That definitely hurts. But it won us that war. I think, I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to regret taking the loans. Uh, we are going to cancel your influence. That's fine, too. Working on annexing that vassal. How's our relationships? Okay, so we're at 4-5. Um, uh, we don't have... Oh, hold on a sec. We don't have legitimacy. I'm, I'm thinking meritocracy is new legitimacy, so now we can't hit this button at 36 which is when we'll be able to hit this button otherwise. So we need meritocracy to rise so that we can abdicate for this dude. That's kind of annoying. <clears throat> silver or manpower? Uh, we need the silver to pay off the loans. Don't get me wrong, the fact that we have no manpower does hurt. But yeah. Um, I'm going to repay the this loan. Oh. Uh... Oh, you hit that button. There you go. Excellent. Just get that started. Again, it doesn't save you on interest. You have to pay it off anyway, but it makes sure you don't accidentally spend it. Although we want to keep enough of a window that if something comes up, we can make a decision without going into any more debt, because that would be pretty miserable. Uh, what we can do is move you to to there. Tributary Unix. Ooh! With the arrival of this year's tributary missions, a great number of eunuchs have joined our ranks. These young men have been identified for their ability, and after a minimum preparation, they're sent to live a life in the service of our shogun. Some will serve the administration, while others might even rise to the position of trusted ministers or leaders for armies and navy. Gain five meritocracy. Gain a skill two. Master of the mint at half price. Right now, we have a half price level three dude with the missionary strength, which is good. 
But if he ends up dying, he's only 42, but he could start to happen. If he ends up dying, the Master of the Mint would be really good for anti-inflation stuff. But right now, I'm going to keep the level 3 guy, and the conversion is still good. Oh, you're disloyal. Oh, yeah, of course you're disloyal. That's fine, and we can't hit that button. So Looming Disaster is still building. And you are still coring. And we are still trying to power our way up to the cultural ties, if we can. Uh, we've got a couple of diplomats available again, so we're going to go ahead and establish more tributaries. Navajo. And Pima. Good, good. I guess I'll do a, a pass now. Um, can I sort by interactions? No, that's kind of annoying. So all the ones with like the tribute money, I want to click on them and see if I can get admin. Most of these are going to be too small. If not all of them, yeah. The big people willing to become tributaries are all like still belonging to the Ming, which is too bad. So we'll get a few extra bucks. They'll help us pay off the loans. It's not the end of the world. We're going to want more ships at some point, too. Another colony that's about to finish. That's the one... Fetishists. Oh, down here. That's the mountain. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Japanese Cape of Good Hope. So, Russia is kicking the ass out of... Oh, no. Yarkin is doing this. Hmm. Russian conquest of Turkestan. Well, well, well. That's quite interesting. Uh, diplomats are about to come home. Uh, we gained a CB because we got insulted. That's fine. Really not a big deal. Confirm. Confirm. Bam, bam. So, yeah, as it turns out, the Empire of China is mostly North American. You know, just it's just normal. So you get slightly more progress because of our tributaries. We went from 0.05 to 0.06. Probably has to do with, like, the... I'm betting it has to do with development of tributaries more than anything else. You know, divided by whatever. I bet you it's something like that. So by putting in a decree, I drop this, which turns out to have an impact that may not have been ideal. I may not go and pass the next one right away. Colony became self-sustaining, had to renew one loan. That um, We have a merchant available. When did that become true? I don't know, but we do have a colonist available as well. Um, could do some stuff here. I think the thing to do will be to continue trying to develop another colonial nation here. So that's what we're going to do. Send you over there. Um, all right, merchant. Good question. Well, we don't have much control. Well, I have some control over Mexico, but maybe not as much as we'd like. Still, I think the thing to do will be to find out. So Rio Grande, I think we're going to try to pull more of this trade. It's not really valuable at all to pull it more to Mexico. Yeah, there's not much point in that. Hmm. You're already steering that way. Already collecting over there. We're not collecting in our home node anymore, which is fine. Most of the trade is going up that way. That's fine. Mostly it's pulling here. Malacca. We might want to start collecting in Malacca, even without like actually being present there. Obviously, we'll get a huge debuff to the amount we pull out of there. But I'm betting it's going to be worth at least one or two ducats in the end. Should we... Should we make this into a trade co company? I mean, I was talking about moving my trade point over here, right? But maybe we just have our trade point be in Japan, work on North America so that it becomes more valuable. And here, we just make this into a trade company area. I mean, we haven't created any states here or anything, right? Oh, no, we have. Right, because that was super valuable. Hmm. Disloyal, provincial unrest, but no, we're generally okay. That's fine. No one's complaining about percentages. Uh, do we have, have we given the merchants all of our high value provinces? I'm actually not sure that we have. Because Manila, oh, you're still just territorial core. Okay. Brunei. Should probably do that. Brings your influence above 50%, which is notable. More trade power. Yeah, let's do that. 
Diplomats are home. Conversion successful. Let's go ahead and set up a couple extra tributaries. I mean, we can start to suck up to these guys, too, and consider, you know, extra things like that. Especially if they're a little bit bigger. Like, anyone who might not be too far away. Yeah. Not that likely. Let's do some more conversions. Boom. CBs. Tributary states. Excellent. I mean, we will have to go and start protecting these people if there's wars over there, but they're not going to be very significant. I mean, we don't really have to participate in the war. Uh, a trader. Okay, so we're getting a lot of half price dudes and a lot of meritocracy bonuses, which is really beautiful. Let's go ahead and build you, although that costs money, but I think is probably worthwhile. An eruption. Okay. Price of grain and wine has dropped. Oh. Um, I don't think that affects us that much. We actually don't grow that many of those things at this time. Ooh. Spain has taken over the territory over here. That's interesting, actually. If they end up taking this in the war, then what will happen... Drunken Explorer. Hmm, um, is our rival will now have some territory next to us. And that's not a terrible thing. Oh my god, Denmark is being overrun by rebels. Holy crap! And Sweden. Okay, Spain, what's your war? Spanish-English colonial war. Okay. And France is grabbing a lot more stuff in South America. Growing popularity of tobacco. Uh, what I would love to do is take control of the Caribbean. Uh, well, no. It's right, because it doesn't flow into Mexico. It flows out from Mexico. I mean, we could have, like, upstream trade bonuses, but that's about it. Not going to build anything. We're still looking to just pay off loans when they become um, due. We've got a couple of diplomats available. So let's do the Maldives. And yeah, that's about it. So we'll wait for them to expect, accept, and then we'll do another pass here. I don't think they're ordered in any way. So again, I'm just going to have to hit... Uh, oh, there we go. And everything that um, offers money. Again, I, uh, I'm just going to look for admin... And most of this I've already done. But we did get one more. That's four admin points per month, or per year. That ain't bad. Okay. We're still getting the ten there, plus some extra stuff. Can we say the the tributary income? Not on tariffs. Vassals, I guess. But shouldn't we have more than that? I don't know. Exploration finished. You can do a little bit more. Boom. North Atlantic Sea. Uh, there's still something to be said about having a conquistador running around here to see the um, the inside of the territory, but it's not a big deal. Oh, right. I've, I'm an idiot. I've been sitting around a, a, over a leader for too long. I'm going to fire this guy. Bam. That was a waste of military power for like two years since the start of this video. My apologies. I'm sure there were some people freaking out about that. I saw it at the start of the video um, when I was like just trying to like revisit, you know, Reestablish where the heck I was in the game. I saw it. And that was one of the things I was supposed to take care of right at the start. But then I think I got distracted by the looming disaster. So we got a couple of free diplomats. We're going to end this in a second. And I think we could do a royal marriage. I don't think that raises our meritocracy anymore, though. Like, I don't think it affects... I don't think it's important for us unless we're looking to build a relationship with someone. And I don't think that it's that big of a deal. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to send my diplomats to subject countries... Probably. I mean, we might do some neighboring country stuff later on, but for now, I think that's going to be helpful. Do a little bit of this. Keep our tributaries really, really well in our favor, and then we can build up from there. Hey, it's like being um, it's like being a shogunate again, and having all our daimyos, except they're tributaries this time around. But it's kind of the same thing, right? Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.